Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week, New York is making history. Voters this year, for the first time ever, have the option of heading to the polls early to cast their ballots before Election Day. As New York joins nearly 40 other states in offering early voting. The Government Center in Plattsburgh is the only place in Clinton County set up for early voting, and those voters who have been coming here this week are trying out a new piece of technology that's designed to help cut down on the wait times, as poll workers will no longer have to sift through pages and pages of voter rolls looking for voters' names. You come right into the table, you'll ask, they will ask your name, you'll put it in the system, they will verify your address, you will actually sign on the poll pad. It will immediately print out a receipt, and this process has taken about 12 to 15 seconds. The county is now using electronic poll pads. They're essentially a 21st century version of those printed poll books that voters have come to know over the years. They ask your name, they would flip through this, miss your name, come back, ask you how to spell it again. The poll pads made their debut this past Saturday for the first ever early voting in the state of New York. Local election officials have spent the past couple of weeks brushing up on how the poll pads work so everything goes as smoothly as possible. This is a very simple system to operate. It was not a very simple system to set up. So how does it work? Voters walk up to the poll workers and give their last name, first name and address and then after signing their name they get a receipt and then a ballot. Eventually, the county will have 61 of these new poll pads paid for by two state grants amounting to $93,000. That money will cover years of maintenance, too. The county has paid nothing for this. This is all coming from the grant. I'm keeping it all under the grant cap. Klaus says it will save the county money by eliminating some poll workers, reducing the number of ballots printed, and the cost of those printed poll books. Although the government center is the only place set up now with the new technology, they will be standard equipment at all Clinton County polling sites in time for next April's presidential primary. 